about three or four years ago, back when I was a student at Purdue University, I partnered with the College of Education to develop a Rube Goldberg and engineering design class. Ran that for several years with middle school students. And then last summer, Dr. Odesma Dalrymple and I decided to connect our two camps together. So we ran the same camp at ASU and at Purdue University, so two groups of middle and high school students. And then we connected them together with video conferencing and Google Docs, so wiki kinds of things. And with those two groups connected together, they were able to do design activities that spanned between the two sites and created one massive Rube Goldberg machine that connected from Purdue and ended at ASU watering a cactus. This summer, we decided to expand that even more and go international. So we, over the course of the summer, have done multiple camps, one at Purdue, one at, or actually three different camps at ASU, one camp at Morgan State University, and then a camp in Trinidad and Tobago. And so all of those camps in some combination have been connected together. The camp that we're doing today actually connects three sites together ASU, Purdue University, and Trinidad and Tobago. They've got one machine with modules in each part. The teams have been working together, about 60 students, to develop w this machine that eventually inflates and pops a balloon. I am actually a citizen of Trinidad and Tobago. Um, I did all of my primary and secondary schooling here, and then went over to the, U the U.S. to do my tertiary education. Uh, and so my desire is always to find ways in which I could, you know, I ultimately return here, but certainly to bring a lot of what I understand about engineering education to Trinidad and Tobago, and even more so the Caribbean region. My research objective in sort of working on the way engineering is taught so that at the end of the day, we produce more um, functional engineers, people who actually solve the problem that we have um, the, the chain problems of our society. Uh, usually, or typically, in not only in the, in the United States, but even here, women aren't usually the face of engineers. We don't, we don't see many in women involved in engineering. And so from that perspective, I certainly see myself as, as a role model in that way. But uh, also in just terms of working within the education system to see how can we inspire students to want to pursue this, this particular profession and then excel at it, you know, actually do something productive at the end.